Hello friends, this video is again extension of the previous video uh, where we have seen that you can easily get top selling color by category. Also in that video we looked into how we can count how many times a color been a top color under different categories. So if you remember we, we looked into the color by each category, so the top color, so and and then also we counted how many times a color is a top color. So black is two time, multi is two time, and a six time. And one issue we ran into when we, we wanted to click on the color here and we only wanted to see those categories where this color is a top color. Right now if I click on red, it looks like we are getting the two categories where the uh, red is a top color, but that is not correct. If we click on a blue, what we have is blue is a top color two times, but it is showing all, it's showing three categories, which is wrong. We only want to see those categories where the blue is a top color. Right now, what it is doing is, it is showing us all the colors where the blue color has, all the categories where the blue color has been sold. So how we fix this? Let's first, what we do is, is to let's bring color into our hierarchy here just to understand what's going on and then uh, fix the my use from there if we click on a blue here and uh, let's drill down into for the drill down into uh, colors if we click on a blue here we get the blue in all color category all categories if if we if we don't click here just just let's actually um, go one level up sorted by color if we see blue is in touring bikes and vests so these are the two categories where the blue is the topmost color but if i click on blue here it is touring bikes vest and also helmets and the reason behind that is uh, right now our sales table is only filter, filtered for the color blue and that's why wherever the blue color is sold and whatever category it is coming up as a number one color selling color um, if we uncheck that and go to helmets category and if we just further drill down let's see where the helmet if we go into helmets category otherwise in helmet category red is the top selling color uh, let's sort it by some sales just so that it's a little bit clear if you go in helmet if we see the red is the top selling color seventy nine thousand dollar but when we click on the blue color it turns out to be uh, blue is the top selling color in that category so it means the now sales table is getting filter for the blue color and that's uh that's the that's the problem to fix that uh one more thing before we go further if you look at that in helmets uh, the seventy nine thousand dollar which is the top selling color red showing for the each color even these colors does not have the sales it is showing for all the colors let's first fix that and then we further um, tweak into um, the filter so top sales of color the Meyer which we have here top sales by color if we look into this uh, my year what we have is um, again i'm not going into the detail of this my year uh, already been uh, explained in the previous video what we need to do is we need to wrap index and keep filters so that the row level color uh, row contacts get passed to the filter context and that is our first thing which we need to fix here now our top sales by color is fixed and uh, let's see if this has resolved the issue so if you click on na uh, we get the six colors if you go in the blue um, it, it, that's still the problem because underlying the problem is still the same if what we need to do is uh, we actually apply the same logic what we did when we were we calculate top selling color count and uh, let me walk through what that is so i'm going to go back to top sales by color the summarize 
what we're doing is we're doing it on all selected sales. Again, what is happening when we're filtering on a blue color, the sales table is only giving us the sales of the uh, uh, blue colors and all the records of the blue colors. And then we are filtering, uh, we are grouping it by product category and product color. What we need to do here is we need to uh, create a table, calculate table, all selected sales, whatever the sales has been selected and remove any filter which is coming from the product table. Again, um, there are uh, um, videos on remove filters. I will post the link of that. Check out what that remove filter is going to do. Uh, what we're telling here is give me a sales table with all the records and remove any filter that is applied on the sales cover, uh, on the sales table which is coming from the product table. Let's see if I filter on a year and that filter is coming from calendar table, it, the sales table will still be filtered for that calendar uh, table. Um, if let's say we selected a year 2020, sales table will be filtered for year 2020. If we don't want that filter to be applied, then we can use all here in that case. But I'm not gonna, I'm not going into those details. Uh, so what we, what we did here is, we said calculate table all selected sales, remove filters products. So any fil filter applied in the sales table, just remove that and give us all the records. And then further from then we do summarize product category and color. And if we apply this change now. Here you go. What we see is now I can see the exact uh, number of records what I am interested in. Let's remove the top sales um, um, color name by category from here. That is not relevant for example. Let's go in here. Now we select blue and we will say only the uh, those categories which has the blue color. So what we are seeing is the touring bikes in the vest and for helmets uh, we are not uh, seeing the top sales uh, by color because this is a blank. The reason why we are still seeing the three categories here because we have the sum sales. Sum sales is giving us the sum of uh, all the categories, all the sales. So if if we remove sum sales from here um, and now if I go click on blue, I will be only seeing those categories which has the blue color. Um, sold and um, it's a uh, and if for the drill down this is the color of blue color is 223 do uh, million dollar two million dollar this is 36 uh, thousand dollar again if I go with the black I'm seeing only the black categories in this video we tweaked our measure uh, which we did in the part one video uh, First, we did like how to get the top color and the top selling uh, color sales value and also the name of the color. And then we wrote a measure to get how many time is colors being the top selling color. And then further we tweaked our measures so that with the visual interaction, it can cross filter correctly. I hope you learned some new DAX techniques from this. It was not purely on the window DAX function um, in the video. So little bit of index being used, uh, but on top of that, it talked about how we can remove filters and keep filters uh, get used. Do check out those videos as well. The link is in the description of this video. Until next video, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.